Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Animal Crossing New Horizons. Uh, it's the next day, like, um, today is Sunday, I started on Friday, so this is the third day of the game. Um, I intended to start a bit earlier, but once we get in the game you'll see what time it is, it's a bit later than I intended. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm expecting to have a new house now, and possibly a museum as well, so we'll see how we do. Hello everyone, this is Tom Nook. It's 4.18pm this happy Sunday, March 22nd, 2020. Now for today's news. Some stunning news just in, we're moving forward with construction of the Cantalot Museum. Neither Blathers nor I imagined we'd be getting ready to build a museum on his very first day on the island. We're very grateful for everyone's cooperation. Anywho, we've started construction for the museum at the very spot where Blathers had his tent. So sorry to inconvenience you all like this today, it is a shame to suspend your scientific endeavours. However, I hope having our splendid new museum completed by tomorrow will make up for this little setback. Okay, so it's not done today. That was a little message Blathers asked me to pass on to all of you. That's all from me, time for you all to get out and enjoy your day. Yes, yes. Alright, so the museum's not ready yet, so if I wander over there, it's probably still just a construction site. But I should have a house now. So that's exciting. I can maybe live in it, or something. <laughs> oh, house! Oh, look at my house! It's adorable! Oh, look at that! Let's go in, let's have a look. <laughs> oh, look, there's so much more room! Congratulations on the construction of your new home. Here are a few tips for comfortable living. Up, turn lights on and off, down, enter decorating mode, right, open storage. Okay, yeah, lights, decorating mode, and storage. Oh my goodness, storage, finally. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so decorating mode, I'm guessing... Yeah, this is, um... This is, uh, whatchamacallit, this is Happy Home Designer style decorating. I don't know if the touch screen works here, but, I mean, I assume it does. Um... But yeah, you can just grab multiple things and just move them around very easily, like this, uh, which is great. Uh, much better than pushing things one step at a time to get them to where you want them to be. There we go. Uh, there we go. Uh, that'll do for now. Okay, yeah, so that's good. Um, I don't know if I could have done that without a house, or if you need the house to be able to do that. Uh, now, this thing's a wall hanging, so I'm going to hang that up now that we have a wall. That's kind of creepy. Eh, it can stay up for now. <laughs> Uh, this clothing, I'm just going to put into this new storage I have, which is down. No, down is decorating. <laughs> Across is for storage. Oh my goodness. 80 slots, that's way better. Oh my goodness. Okay, so, yeah, I can pick that and go put in storage, and now it's out of the way. Excellent. Alright, um... I've also got some Nook Miles stuff going on. Uh, you'll notice my number is much higher than before. I did play some of the game off camera. Um, as I said I was going to, I just, like, did a bunch of tasks and ground up my Nook Miles much higher. Dreamhouse. 500 Nook Miles. Yeah. I haven't actually spent any yet, so I will be. Good things in store? Number of items you have in storage. Oh, okay, cool. Uh... Nook miles for miles. <laughs> okay, um... Let's head on out and talk to our friends and see what's up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so the storage and, um, decorating mode features, they were a special upgrade in New Leaf. They were added in the, um, the Welcome Amiibo upgrade that they did partway through the game's release. Um, and when that was unlocked, you got the ability to do two store things in storage, and also the ability to move things with the touchscreen, so yeah. Uh, I bought some stuff from Nook Shopping, so we have some stuff now. We also have a note from the Happy Home Academy. They gave us a present. Greetings from the Happy Home Academy. Our goal, we want to make your home the best that it can be. Look for more messages from us as you hone your home decorating skills. Something from Gulliver. Thanks for helping me escape your quaint island of Canterlot. A literal lifesaver like you deserves a reward, so please accept this souvenir for my travels. See you soon, probably. Check the beach. From Gulliver. We got a present from Gulliver. We also got uh, some items from Nook Shopping. Let's take them and put them someplace. Oh, my pockets are full. Right. <laughs> Let's have a look at these presents. 
Do-do-do-do-do, Gulliver sent us a silk hat. I think that was Gulliver. Wooden end table. This is a recipe. Let's learn it. Huh, okay. Sweet, I learned a DIY, DIY recipe for a wooden end table. Bing! <laughs> uh, the glasses. I'm gonna put these on so that I have glasses. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Cute. <laughs> Here's a garbage can. Uh, I'm wondering if I can put things in the garbage can? Because in some games you can, I don't know if you can in this one. Should I toss something? Yes. So I can, I can throw things out into the garbage can if I so desire. Uh, gonna put it over here in the corner. There we go. Maybe a bit further forward. Just there? Yeah, that'll do. Da -da 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 -da. Grab a stone. <laughs> um, let's go look at where the museum's gonna be, just so we can have a look at the construction, I suppose. Oh, that'd be it here, with all the bugs and fish in front of it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, there's gonna be a museum in this spot tomorrow, but not yet. Alright. I kind of wish I could move it. Maybe there's a way to move it that I haven't found out about yet. Also, I have the tool ring. I got that in the previous video, but I'm showing it off again because I think it's real cool, and I like it. Come here, dragonfly. Oh. Well, fine then. I'll just- I'll just talk to this bear. Hi, Teddy. Yo, you been training, Groof? I wanna chat. The weather really gets the muscles glistening, Groof. This weather, sorry. This weather. Because it's- it's hot. That's what he means. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, how are these coming? Uh, they're getting there. I think it takes a couple of days for flowers to grow, so we'll keep an eye on those. Do, 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 do. Grabbing a stick. Oh, these are getting closer. They're not ready yet, but they're looking good. <laughs> Come here. Is that a locust? No, it's a grasshopper. Okay. Well, we'll be donating that to the museum when it exists. <laughs> I honestly thought it would already be here, but I guess it takes a day to construct. There we go. Let's try the silk hat as well. Oh, that's pretty cute. Oh, look at that. Adorable. <laughs> Oh, alright, fossils and stuff. We won't be able to show them to Blathers till tomorrow because the museum's closed, but we can probably grab them and collect them up. Gotta stop and sell this map, the flowers now and then, you know? Running around everywhere will tire you out. Don't you think, you know? Cute. Oh, furniture. It's dinnerware. Well, now we can have some dinner. <laughs> There's a butterfly shaking trees. Grabbing branches when they fall. I also want to go uh, redeem some of these nook miles, actually. So I'll go do that now. Because, yeah, we have lots of nook miles because I did a bunch of stuff off screen. Off camera, I mean, I was on a screen. I couldn't really do a whole lot off screen for reals. Oh, a cutscene? So you see, since the number of homeowners is increasing, I agree that we need to build a shop. However, when it comes to building, suppl building supplies, our customers' home should take priority. I have every confidence that you'll find a way to handle this little puzzle. The two of you have been training under me for how many years now? Hmm? This should be a piece of cake! Well, hello there, Danielle. Are you happy with your home? Is it meeting your expectations? I bet you'll be a lot more comfortable now. Houses are so different from tents, hmm? You can freely change with the flooring and wallpaper, and you've got some built-in storage so you can put away any furniture you aren't using. Oh yes, there's more! All homeowners are automatically registered with the Happy Home Academy. HHA, as we call it, will evaluate your home on a regular basis and send you helpful advice. They even send rewards to members whose homes achieve high ratings. Their evaluations won't intrude on your day-to-day -day life, so there's no need to worry. Just enjoy the fun. Which brings us to... Your new home loan! That'll be 98,000 bells, please! Okay. Ah. Don't worry, you can pay it all back in installments, big or small. Payments can be made using the ABD feature of the Nook Stop. I think that's everything I need to tell you about homes today. But I do have a nice surprise for you. I do hope you're ready for this. 
It's a premium Miles Redemption item, a Nook Miles Ticket. What's that? A Nook Miles Ticket is a special travel voucher you can only get by redeeming Nook Miles. It's a conundrum, hmm? You want to improve our island, but still hold into that deserted island magic. Well, now you can do both. You can use one of these tickets to do some island hopping adventuring. Yes, yes, go anytime you want. Maybe you're looking to meet some new characters or gather materials for DIY projects. Your trip is yours to enjoy in the way you like. Put your ticket at the counter in the airport, so use it whenever the travel mood strikes. Now then, go enjoy life in your freshly built home. Indeed. Okay, uh, what's in here? A rusted part. I'll take that. I don't know what it is, but I'll take it. <laughs> Welcome to Nookstop, a multimedia terminal from Nook Incorporated. Once per day, accessing the Nookstop will award you bonus daily miles, I get 100. Neato burrito. Select from the following. Uh, I'm gonna redeem some Nook miles. Okay, so I can get the pocket organization guide, which gives you more, more room in your pockets, which sounds incredibly useful. <laughs> redeem 5,000 miles from pocket organization guide. Redeem. Now generating pocket organization guide. Boop. Your order's been printed. Huh, okay. I see, this totally makes sense. I learned some tricks for organizing my belongings. I bet I can carry a bit more stuff now. And yep, I have a whole new row of pockets. Excellent. Uh, let's talk to the Nook Stop again. Redeem Nook Miles. Let's see what we can get. It looks like there isn't an option to just get more pocket space again, which is a shame, because I would have loved to just keep doing that. Um, let's get the Custom Design Pro Editor. I believe this lets you do, um, like, custom designs for clothes that aren't shirts. Like, you can make dresses and you can make hats and stuff like that. Redeem. Place your Nook phone near the terminal to receive the app data. Your app has been updated. Thank you for using the Nook Stop. I've got the pro edition of the Custom Designs app now. I'm going to make my debut as a pro designer. Yay! <laughs> so if I look at the... Not this one. This is the one with recipes in it. There's the end table I can make now. If I look at the Designs app now, I assume I have more options. Pro Designs. Thank you for upgrading to the pro edition of Custom Designs. Edit palette colors. Create pro custom designs. Okay, sounds good. Um, oh, I see. There's a separate section for pro designs, and you can make... Okay, so pro patterns, I think it's just... I'm not quite sure. Oh, I, I see. You get to pick what you make what you make out of it. So you can have, like, long sleeve, different kinds of shirts, and... Oh, dresses! Dresses! Ah! <laughs> and hats. Oh, that's adorable. Okay, so that's how that works. Um, I wonder if I can convert this over... Eh, it's probably fine the way it is, but yeah, you can you can make more interesting outfits basically. Cool. Um, Animal Crossing. I assume um Tom Nook's gonna actually build a shop soon. They were talking about that. I don't know how long that's gonna take, but I'll expect that in the next couple days. In the um, previous games, there's already a shop built. In this one, you can buy stuff at resident services. I assume they'll go to the shop instead after a few days. Uh, scoop. 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 Do -do -do -do. Oh, right, rocks. So, interesting thing. In most Animal Crossing games, hitting rocks with a shovel has been a thing. Um, usually it doesn't do anything. But sometimes a bug will come out of the rock to catch, and some and one day one rock per day is the money rock, and that one just spits out money if you keep hitting it uh, within a certain amount of time, which is why I'm putting these uh, holes behind me. Um, but in this game, all of the rocks will put out something. Uh, this one is the money rock. I found it straight away. So let's just uh, keep whacking it. Ah, dang it. Oh, my shovel! Okay, so you can get eight if you have enough stuff pushing you towards the, the rock, but I think I need a third, like, hole over here to make that work properly. Two holes worked in the previous games, but I think the holes work a little bit differently in this one. Anyway, yeah, that's a money rock. You, you whack it with a shovel, money comes out. Um, and there's one per day. Uh... Do -do -do -do. Ooh, time to claim! 
Okay, so each day you get a times two set of these miles pluses by the looks of things. Uh, once you've done these, they get replaced with ones that don't have double rewards, as you can see. Um, but that's still good, still good. Uh, there's a bug on that tree. Let's catch it with a flimsy, flimsy net. I wonder if I can carry two of the same to have it, the same tool to have it replace it with the other one immediately. Because that would be good, if that's how it works. I haven't tried making two of the same tool at the same time yet. I'll probably make two shovels now I've got more slots. Oh, hello. Get over here. <laughs> Down to the grasshopper? No, it's a long locust. Alright, well I can still sell it, so not a problem. Let's go into my house. My house is this one. I should probably get the rest of my letters out of my letterbox as well. Now I think about it. Um, hang on, let's use the table over here. Yeah, let's craft something. Let's make a couple shovels, I reckon. Uh, shovel, shovel, shovels, a tool. There we go. So yeah, we make a couple of those without too much trouble. I think we probably want to try to get the good quality tools so we don't have to worry about them breaking so often. Which I think you can redeem as Nook from the Nook Miles, because that's an option there, I think. There we go. Uh, all done for now. I'm guessing they don't stack up. Yeah, they don't. Uh, let's put that one over there and let's put that one over there, I guess. Do -do 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 Oh, look, it's dinnerware. Uh, I might put that in storage for now. I don't really have a good spot for it yet. I'm so glad this game gives you storage so early. I guess I'll try selling the rusted part. I don't know what it's good for. Animal Crossing is this game. Okay, so I also got KK Parade, which is a song. I'm not sure how songs work in this particular game, but you can always get a bunch of different songs and put them on, put them up to be played from, from your list, basically. Um, in the previous game, New Leaf, you put the songs into like a music machine and that's where they stayed, like this radio, for example. Uh, right, maybe the radio doesn't support putting other songs in because it's a radio. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm going to open these first, actually. Boop. Uh... No? Hmm. I'm not sure how songs work. Uh, place item? Okay, so that's like an album cover or whatever. Inside a frame there. I guess I need like a record player or something that actually can play music that I give to it rather than... Oh, okay, I thought that was, that was a wall hanging, but it's not. Okay. <laughs> Da, 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 do, place item. There we go, that looks good. Sort of. It looks alright. <laughs> um, I will note I'm finding this game's controls a little confusing. Um, they're better than the previous games, but they are a little bit um, I, I get, the, there's basically three different menus I can open. There's my pockets, which is this one, there's the nook phone, which is this one, and there's the tool ring, which is this one. And I keep getting mixed up which one I need to press to get to what. Um, I'm not sure how best to address that, <laughs> apart from just saying, yeah, it's confusing and I need to learn them better than I know them already. <laughs> um, hmm. Flimsy shovel, digging holes. Okay, so this one's got, uh, those are iron nuggets, I think. So I'm just gonna keep hitting until we're done. There we go. So yeah, we got some iron out of this tree. We can use that to make metal things. Uh, we also got a bit of clay, which I think I can make an ocarina with, maybe? I haven't made any instruments yet. I should probably do that. Okay, 
Uh, let's look at the Nook Shopping, see what's on offer today. I think this changes every day. I already have a Switch, so I need another one. Uh, another song. There we go. Um, I could use more glasses. Otherwise, I think I'm good. I already have the Switch and the Lantern. Uh, let's redeem Nook Miles. Uh, let's get those... Uh, Pretty good tools recipes, because I think that would help a lot. There we go. Boop. Has been processed. Please place your Nook phone. It's channel 2 the data. I thought it would print it out like it does the other instructions, because these are recipes. Nope, it just went into the app. I can make stronger tools that won't break so easily now. It's going to be a material gathering game changer. Yay. Um, let's go have a look and see what they need to need. we need to make them. Okay, so we can make a... Okay, so they're not called flimsy anymore, they're just called... Oh, I can make an axe and a stone axe. Interesting. Let's make a shovel, fishing rod, net. Watering can. Nice. What do I need to make them? Oh, I see. You upgrade the ones you already have. Okay. Um, well, I'll do that. I'll make a good shovel. Keep crafting. So yeah, you have to make the flimsy ones first to be able to make the better ones, which is interesting. Uh, play my flimsy net to a good net. Keep crafting. Uh, I think the way it works is the stone axe does the same thing as the flimsy axe, and the regular axe actually does cut down trees. So... I don't know if I want to cut down trees or not. <laughs> Uh, let's make a better fishing rod. And a better watering can. I think the slingshot doesn't have a flimsy version. There's just the slingshot and the slingshot. So, don't need to upgrade that. Uh, um, I already made a f made in the net. What have I not made yet? Oops. Boop. Tools. Oh, right, the watering can. Yeah. You can see it requires iron to upgrade them, which makes sense because the good tools seem to be made of metal. Uh, but iron is probably a bit harder to come by than the various types of wood, I would say, based on how I've seen this game so far. Let's upgrade our flimsy axe to a stone axe. I assume these tools can still break eventually, but maybe they take longer. Let's see what we've got now. Okay, so we've got a shovel, net, fishing rod, watering can, and stone axe. Cool. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Hi, Timmy. Thank you. I have something I'd like to chat about. Do you have a moment, that is? It's a bit of a proposal, so if now's not a good time, I understand completely. No pressure. Sure, go ahead. Very good. I'll get right to the point. I'm hoping that you might be interested in collaborating on a new venture, building a new shop. After all, our little island community is growing, our needs are growing too. I'd love to offer a much wider inventory of goods, but as you can see, I am a bit limited in here. I've already spoken with our fearless leader, of course, and he agrees that we have a need. Ah, uh, but here's the thing. Building materials are hard to get, so can we set them aside for building a shop? I really don't see it, since we'll need those materials for residential projects, but I have an idea. Yes, yes, you can gather up materials from around the island, right? From the trees and rocks? Our oh, environmental re review even suggests there'll be zero impact to native flora or fauna. Wow, that's pretty good. Ah, oh, but I'm getting off track. Well, we'll need a lot of materials for, pro for a proper shop, and we'll of course offer compensation for your efforts. Okay. Thank you so much. Now, I know this is a lot, but I've put together a list of the items I'd like you to gather. We'll need 30 pieces each of regular wood, hardwood, and softwood. And 30 iron nuggets. I'm not concerned about where these materials come from. They could come from this, this island or any other. And you can gather these materials at your own pace. Once you have a set of something, come see me. Okay, um, the reason it's 30, that's how big these piles are. Like, other things pile up to 99, but these only pile up to 30, and then it starts a new pile. So you need a full pile of each of these kinds of wood, and a full pile of nuggets. Uh, I'm gonna sell... I don't think I have any full piles yet, though, right? Yeah, I don't. But I'll sell you these bugs here. And these weeds. There we go. 
Sounds good. It's not a whole lot of money, but, you know, it's still worth doing. <laughs> Nook Miles. <laughs> Catching. <laughs> um, yeah, we got to chop some trees and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I believe the difference between the two types of axe is that the stone axe, which is that one, I can't use it right now, uh, still only chops wood out of trees and doesn't cut trees down, whereas the one that's just called an axe does chop trees down, I think. Oh, look at my new shovel. Look how great it is. What a cool shovel. <laughs> Way better than that old rubbishy shovel I had before. Oh, look how good it digs. It's exactly the same, but it won't break as easily. Oh, oh, found some gold. Oh. Hi, Diva. What's up? I heard you were getting stuff together for a shop. That's right. Ha, huh, knew it. Well, thanks for doing your part of the cantalot. Oh, I got an idea. If they've got you gathering stuff for a shop, you might want this. What is it? I figure you're probably going to need that more than me. Go give it a swing, you know? What is it? Uh, it's another stone axe. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I mean, I already have one of those, but... You never have too many axes, <laughs> I guess. Oh my goodness. Switch to the axe. So yeah, you hit a tree with the axe, some wood falls out. Like that. And I think it's easier to get enough wood from trees because there's a lot more trees than there are rocks to hit. But the rocks give you a bit more, so I guess it's a bit of a trade-off. But I, I think probably the resources from rocks are supposed to be a bit rarer than the types of wood, judging from the way you get them. Uh, check out that nice new net. Hey, come back here. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> I was pranked. Uh, flimsy shovel. No, I want a good shovel. Hmm. It's a bit confusing. I dug up a fossil. Can't really do anything with it yet, but, you know, may as well dig up the fossils so that it spawns more tomorrow. Rough hewn. Oh, for chop from chopping a hundred wood from trees. Okay, cool. Okay, we have a full stack of regular wood now. We're still a little low on the other kinds, but that's a good start. There's a gold nugget. I wonder what I can do with it. I know you can sell them, and they're worth, like, a lot because they're made of gold, but I'm not sure what else you can do with it. Oh, I'll have to hold that by accident. There we go. <laughs> do -do 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 -do. Nook miles up. The chopping wood. What's that? Redeem Nook Miles. Okay, I can redeem Nook Miles. <laughs> oh my goodness. This game is very cute. I don't know if you've noticed, but this game is very cute. Uh, I'll also give you a stack of regular wood while I'm here. Right now we're asking residents for the help in donating the materials we need to build a shop. I'd like to donate. Oh, thank you so much for helping us. It seems you happen to be carrying some wood. Did you want to donate 30 pieces for the shop? These are for you. Here you go. Thank you so much. This brings us one step closer to building a shop. To thank you, I'd like to offer you a camp stove. Really? Uh, thank you. We'd love your cooperation in donating the remaining materials. Well, I got a camp stove. <laughs> Let's redeem a few nook points or nook miles or whatever. Uh, let me see. Hmm. Let's go for the hair, hair colours first. That's the most expensive, but I also want to get more colours, so... 
Top 8 stylish hair colours. Your order has been printed. Huh, okay. I see, this totally makes sense. I learned how to make some new hair colours. I bet I could change up my look with a vanity or a mirror. And we get rewarded with a couple points for spending all those points. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, so I have a camp stove now. That's that's cool. Kind of weird, but they're cool. <laughs> oh my goodness. We need to get more um, of the other types of wood, and we also need to get some more nuggets. And you can probably look around for the other fossils as well. Okay, this tree is all, all softwood, so that's helpful, because we don't have enough of that yet. I'm seeing a sparkle over there as well. That tree is also all softwood. Let's head over to that sparkle and see what we can do with it. Money! I took up a thousand bells. Let's try burying more money. I think that means you actually get more money, so... Let's take out... 10,000 bells and bury that. There we go. Let's see how we go with that. I think it takes a couple days, but, like, I think I think the way it works is the tree has three bags of money on that are the same as what you buried. So we would get 30,000 out of it. Seems like a good trade. If that's how it works in this game. I don't know if it is. you're getting stuff together to build us a shop. Good hustle, Danielle. I found something that might help things along. Here you go. <gasps> I was gonna make those iron nuggets into some free weights, but having a shop sounds way cooler. The faster we get a shop, the faster I can just buy free weights. <laughs> go team Cantalot. Groof. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. Love to buy free things. How are we doing? We have 11 nuggets now, so that was helpful. I kind of wish it had like a durability meter on the items, because you don't know when things are going to break, and it, that seems like a weird thing to leave out. I was trying to put it on top of that. Oh no, I did. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's behind the tree, so I might forget it's there, but uh, it should be fine. <laughs> oh. oh, hello, it's a balloon. I have a slingshot. Let's go. Slingshot. Just wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> Come on. It's above the tree now. I can get it. Come on. Yeah! Let's look at the present. It's an acorn pochette recipe. Huh, okay. Sweet, I learned a DR re recipe for an acorn pochette. Whatever that is. I don't, I don't know what that is. I don't know what I just got. But I got a recipe for something, so that's probably cool. <laughs> 
Uh, let's, let's cross the river and have a look around over there. Vaulting pole. Vaulting pole is great. I really like it. Big fan of vaulting poles. <laughs> Shovel. Found another fossil. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Now another fossil. Is this the fourth fossil for the day? I guess so. As far as I know, there's only four. There might be some up on top of the cliff there that I can't reach. But I'm pretty sure there's just the four. Oh, that's not what I want to do. I want to do that. Yeah, so you can see something cracked in the ground there. That's probably another fossil, but I have no way of getting on top of the cliff yet. Um, I guess I'll have to wait. Sweet fish? Yep, it's a sweet fish. Da, da, da. Oh, there's a rock. Let's whack it with our shovel. Yeah, I think doing it as a diagonal like this probably works better in this game, instead of having two side by side. It, I think that works better with the way the holes work. Oh, hello. That's a thing. No, I don't want to water it. Oh no! <sighs> Dang it, I wasn't quick enough. <sighs> Doesn't matter. There'll be another one. Okay, we're at about 37 minutes. I guess I'll go for maybe an hour. I don't know. I'm not good at timing my videos consistently. I don't know if you've noticed. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, okay, I have a lot of tree branches, actually. I don't need that many. Hmm. You can also give in my softwood, so let's do that. And get some more softwood to replace it. Excellent. <laughs> Hi, Timmy. I want to sell. Uh, I want to sell you this sweet fish and these weeds and this gold nugget. And these extra tree branches. Catching. <laughs> uh, about building a shop. I'd like to donate. Yes, here's the softwood for you. A retro flower print wall. Wow, I should try that on my house. Thank you, Timmy. I wonder what else they're selling. What's for sale? Uh, I can buy a precious box of tissues or an inflatable sofa. Uh, I still can't buy good tools by the looks of things, which is interesting. I can buy a vaulting pole recipe. I don't know what the point of that is, because you need to already know how to make a vaulting pole right now. Because Blathers taught teaches you yesterday. Or taught me yesterday. I don't know if he always does, but he did. 
Hmm. Yeah, nothing too interesting. You can get flimsy tools here, and then I guess you could use them to upgrade if you got stuck without any resources or something, but you need money, so... I'm not sure how, how helpful that is. Um... Own bells by selling items, there we go. Catching. Uh, catch bugs, spend bells to buy items, catch fish, sell fruit, grow fruit trees. I don't know what that acorn thing is. Acorn pochette. Oh, it's a little little necklace, I think. That's adorable, yeah. That's what it is. It's like a little necklace with an acorn on it. Sounds cute to me. Seasonal recipes. I guess you can't get acorns all year round. Interesting. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da. Let's go on a tour. Um, since we got that tour ticket from Tom Nook, let's go see what that does. Um, yeah, we'll go. We'll go for like an hour. Um, I might store some of this stuff first, though. These fossils I can go put uh, outside the museum because I'll be having them donated tomorrow. Uh, up here. I think on the ground doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, uh, and then I'll put up that new wallpaper and storage anything else I don't particularly need right now. Do 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 da do. Ba -da -da -da. Let's try this new wallpaper. Place some wall. Um, I don't like it. <laughs> It's alright, I guess, but it's not my thing. Uh, let's put that in storage. Uh, let me see, let me see. I don't need multiple stone axes, so I'll put that one in storage. Uh, I'll, put it, I'll put the camp stove on the ground here. It should really be outdoors, because it's a camp stove, but I can put it inside for now. That's perfectly safe, I'm sure. Uh, I'll store those cherries. I want to have some on hand just in case I need to eat them, because apparently that does something cool in this game, but I don't really know what yet. Um, let's swap those around and put that there, I reckon. And then clay can go there. Hmm, the number of resources I have isn't really well balanced to fit into the right amount of space. Or whatever. <laughs> There are four things you can get from a tree, you know, and they have three things from, from, um, stone. That's what I mean. And phrased incredibly poorly. There we go, that'll do. Let's go on a trip. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, wait, I want to check my hair colour. I just remembered. Hair colour, hair colour! <laughs> oh my goodness. There's so much stuff going on. Okay, so yeah, you got to find a mirror, and then you get back into character creation, but you'll have more options. Yes, let's go for it. That's me! Uh, hairstyle. Okay, um... None of these colours are really... ...fitting my, my actual hair colour. That's okay, I can go something silly. Hmm. Let's go with green. I like green. Oh, okay, that button makes your accessories go back on. Yeah, that works. I like that. Oh, she's cute. Heck yeah. Let's go. <laughs> I kind of thought I'd get, you know, a closer brown to my actual hair color, but that's not an option, which is interesting. But this bright green is, so that's that's good. I like it. Okay, so let's go on a quick trip and see what that does, because I don't know what that does. Um, is that how you do multiplayer, or is that separate? Hello. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to the one and only getaway to the skies, the Cantalot Airport. Nice to meet you. I'm Orville, ground crew for Dodo Airlines. Dodo Airlines. The crew may be flightless, but that doesn't mean you have to be... 
<laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. If you want to visit another island, invite friends to this one or go on a mystery tour. This is the place to be. Oh, and we've also got a mail service at this airport. Sometimes a letter's just better, you know? If you want to send someone a note, take Uganda to your right. We've got all kinds of cards at the card stand. By the way, you're Danielle, right? It's a small island. Word gets around. I just got a Nook Miles ticket from Tom Nook with Danielle written on it, which makes it yours. So if you want to use this ticket, you just got to say the magic words, I want to fly. Got it? So, Danielle, you got anything to tell me? I want to fly. Let's go. Roger. By the way, I got a Nook Miles ticket with your name on it behind the desk here, so use that whenever. So, just to get the paperwork all official, where did you want to go? Let's use the ticket, let's do it. I think visiting someone is like multiplayer, going to other players' towns, that sort of thing. Let's use the ticket. So you want to use your Nook Miles ticket? Roger. In that case, I'll just take this ticket I got from Tom Nook. I'm ready to get you in the sky right this minute, but let's just check. You all packed? Tools already? Uh, yeah, time for takeoff. Alright, let's get you airborne. He's clearly not touching the keyboard. <laughs> Dodo 1, this is Dodo Tower. Wilbur, you copy? Got a walker who needs wings. Over. Roger. Ready when you are. Okay, have a good flight, friend. And when you need to travel, just think, what would Dodos do? Hmm. <laughs> Alright, we are two down and docked at the target island. Delta Oscar, Delta Oscar is go. Oh my gosh, he's speaking native phonetic alphabet. First time getting your pontoons wet on tour? Let me brief you on Mystery Island procedure. First, we run the Finders Keepers protocol here. Lumber, fruit, fish, whatever. Yours if you carry it. Next up, break a tool, forget one, I can requis requisition you a replacement. Gotta charge your miles though. Also, there's one red line item you need to memorize like your favorite latte order. Anything you leave behind stays here. We don't come back to these places. Ever. I actually burn the flight plans afterwards. Security reasons. Can't explain more than that. Think that's everything? Go explore. If you get in trouble, ask yourself, what would dodos do? Meanwhile, I'll be in a holding pattern here. Get in touch if you need tools or travel. Go catch some bees and chop some trees. Okay, so... That's really funny. <laughs> basically, these seem to be like the Explorer's Shores um, from Dragon Quest Builders. Uh, basically, these are just randomized islands you visit once and they have stuff on them. Like coconuts, apparently. Give me that. Let's bring those back to my island. I'd love some coconuts. Can I take these flowers too? Yes. Um, I don't know how much space I have for stuff, so I don't want to overload. But I think I'll be okay. Is there a map available here? Doesn't look like it. This island seems to be pretty small, actually, compared to my island, which is much, much larger. I don't know if that's the case all the time, or if this is just like a first visit, give you something simple sort of thing. <gasps> There's a goat! I like goats. Hello, goat. <gasps> it's Sherb! Oh, hey, nice to meet you. I'm Sherb. Cool. So you're Danielle from Cantalot. Man, that's real cool. Let's have some fun while we're here together. Boar. How did you get here? Isn't this like a deserted island? This island has so much nature. Every place you look is nature. It's real neat. I could stay here forever pointing at stuff saying, that's nature. Man, it'd be real neat to live on an island like this. Full time, I mean. Just living life, pointing at nature. <laughs> Want to come to mine? Huh? You live on Cantalot, right? Is it like this? Is it like this there too? Whoa, then I want to go. If your island's as cool as you, then I want to go, Danielle. I'll be waiting for you. By the way, what should I do to move to Candlelot? So if I call your Mr. Tom Nook, he'll tell me everything? Thanks. I'll call him and say hi. Today's the best day since I found out what Pesgetti was. Oh, you're adorable. I'm so glad you're moving to my island. <laughs> I don't know what taking flowers does, but I seem to have a couple of them, so maybe I can do something good with them. Hmm... This, this uh, island has cherries, so I can't get a new fruit here, because I already have cherries. Um, I can get some flowers. That's something. Let's 
some coconuts. So yeah, I can plant those. Coconuts are kind of like a fruit. They're not actually a fruit, they're, they're a nut. But, you know, they work like a fruit in this game. <laughs> this island has conifers, which is interesting. We don't have any of those on the island on um, Canterlot, as far as I know. Ooh. No, don't check again. No! No! Oh no! Ow! 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 I got stung by wasps! Yeah, it puts a little cookie over your eye when you get stung. It's weird. Uh, I'll take the nest, and I guess I'll use my medicine? Take medicine. Much better. Yay! Yeah, I messed that one up. I was standing too far to the side of the tree. If you're standing, like, on the front of the tree, or basically, like, diagonally over here, then you're okay, but if you're standing all the way on the side, you can't reach them when they fall down. Coconuts! <laughs> Okay, we're gonna, get, we're gonna get grow fruit trees when I come back and plant these coconuts, so that's covered. Um, it would be a good idea probably to whack some of these rocks, because we need more uh, iron and all that. Oh, this is a flimsy shovel. Where's my good shovel? It's kind of weird that they both show up with the same icon in the menu there. Ah, no. And we're done. Yeah, I messed that up. I got the angles and stuff, and stuff wrong and didn't work. That's okay. We've got a few more iron uh, nuggets, so that's what we needed. Try fishing. There's gonna be a lot of fish in this lake here. Hey, little fishies. Come on. Come on. Get into my rod. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I got one. What is that, a goldfish? Yes, a goldfish. It's worth its weight in fish. Okay, there might be some more unique fish here, so I might want to keep fishing here a little longer. Uh, I think it's maybe a different, like, hemisphere or whatever. It looks like the season might be different. Oop, whoops. Yes, I caught a catfish. I'm more of a dogfish person. I don't like cats. I like cats and dogs. Okay, I can definitely see something in the water out there. I wonder if I get to dive in this game like a new leaf. Diving in New Leaf wasn't very, like, helpful. Like, you could swim in the water, and you could dive under to grab stuff, but you couldn't really see when you were diving, it just showed, like, a circle. Like in, um, Link to the Past when you dive. Hmm. I think we're probably about done here, there's not a lot on this little island. 
I've still got room for more stuff, but I don't know if there's more stuff I really want. It's another catfish. Well, I can sell one and keep the other for the museum, so that's cool. Um, I can see there's like a bug flying around in these flowers. Come here, come here, bug. Yes, I caught a stink bug. It lives up to its name. Oh, gross. Well, I don't want that at all. Another catfish? Huh. Oh, oh, nook miles. Caught enough fish to get the catching fish one, so that's cool. Um, also this one. Cool. Um, yeah, I guess we'll head back. Bell bottom techno, this is. Oh, BT, I see. This is stovetop jackhammer. Do you require assistance? Require assistance? Over. I think? I'm confused. Right, I'm ready to go home. You ready to punt pontoons and fly soaring tulip here back to Candela? You positive? Be very positive, because I wouldn't want you leaving anything behind. So again, you ready? Yep. Roger. Lifting off November Oscar Whisker. That's kind of funny, because he just said now, right? November Oscar Whisker. The, the native Hendrick alphabet sound for Y is whiskey, not whisker. So I guess they had to change that because of alcohol being an adult concept? I don't know. <laughs> um, bit weird. Uh, anyway, let's go on the beach and plant some coconuts. Ooh, hang on, what is that? I, I do need my fishing, I'll bring it back. Is that like an eel or something? Oh, I think it is. Yes! I caught a ribbon eel. Can it tie itself into a bow? I mean, that would be impressive. Favorite flavor of clam. Um, I'm not sure where best to plant this tree. I know it needs to be on the beach, but I don't know like how close it needs to be to the water. Let's just try putting it here and see what happens. Probably a bug, right? Hmm. What do I have that I can easily get rid of? Can I plant this flower? Is that an option? I can wear it. Is it like a hat? Oh, look, that's adorable. Oh, I'm gonna keep doing that. It didn't wear up a slot though, but it's cute. Um, let's get rid of one of these clams. Because that, I believe, is a walking leaf. Yep, I was right. See? It disguises itself as furniture, which is kind of funny.
Oh, message in a bottle. I'm gonna probably try eating the last coconut and see what that does, because apparently eating things does have an effect in this game. And then I'll free up a slot I can use to grab that bottle. Nom nom nom. It says one out of ten. Interesting. Let's see what the message is. I was clearing my house and found this old DIY recipe I'd thought up. My great idea's in this bottle here. Take a chance on it. You'll see. Try it and see what happens. Kettle bathtub. Sweet! I learned a DIY recipe for a kettle bathtub. Okay. One out of ten. Hmm. I don't know what that means. Maybe maybe my fruit number goes up. I, I assume eating more fruit increases it, but I don't know what it, it does. Hmm. Uh, gotta put some more animals out here. Here's a catfish. And a stink bug. And an eel as well. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, that's too close. Um, the museum really needs to open up soon. Look at this mess. Whoa, that's a big one. Okay. Uh, let's go sell the things I... Oh, the goldfish was new as well. That's right. Hang on. Oh, it's gonna bowl. It's kind of sad. A goldfish needs more room than that. Anyway, let's uh, sell off some stuff, make some room to put other stuff in. These two catfishes, um, these clumps of weeds, this walking leaf. Uh, this vanilla clam, and this wasp nest. Cool. Sounds good. I can't afford the hairstyles yet. I thought I might be able to, but I'm not close enough. I assume pop are the ones I want. I'm not really sure. I probably want to get all of them eventually, but... It would be easier if it showed you what they look like. Which it doesn't. Um... Hmm. I guess that's about it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed me doing some random junk in a video game. Um... Hi, Teddy. Hey, I heard your tent finally hit the gym and bulked up to a house. Congrats, Groof. I'm thinking I might drop by sometime check on your free weight situation. Keep an eye out. I think he likes working out. I don't know if anyone's noticed. By the way, yeah, you can check these little trees, but I don't think it ever does anything. Go wait till they grow into big trees like these ones. Fruit roots. Oh, for planting the... Right, for planting the coconuts. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, I did get a, I did get a new recipe, right? The bathtub, kettle bathtub. I can't see anything that looks like that. Oh, it must it mustn't be craftable. Is it in here? There it is. Kettle bathtub, iron nugget, wood, and campfire. Okay, yeah, I could make that. Ugh. 
anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, next time, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll let you know, because I don't really know what to expect yet. Um, but yeah, thanks. Bye!